what famous person needs to be ignored and shunned into obscurity? The Nikocado Avocado guy it's honestly for his own sake ATP. Only way to save his life at this point is to ignore him. Is this avocado guy someone I should know lol? Hess a YouTuber who started off as a friendly vegan musician and is now a multi-hundred pound mukbanger who fakes illnesses, starts drama with other creators, and is a heart attack waiting to happen. Edit, guys me explaining who he is is not bringing more attention to his channel. People need to know why we're supposed to be ignoring him, otherwise they're going to go watch his videos and find out for themselves. Him allowed to answer questions without being called a hypocrite. Edit 2, just adding this in because quite a few people have asked. Mukbang is when you record yourself eating food, in his case a horrendously large amount of it, and post it online. Besides the obvious ones already stated here, let's go with Joel Austin. Ezra Miller edit, given the number of people replying, who? And requiring others to explain who Ezra is, I fear Thammy comment has succeeded in doing the opposite of what Op asked. Whoops. Forgive me. Damn near everyone I know is better than Ezra. Good. Chris Brown. Duck him. Jim Bob Duggar. Well shit I'm already there, no idea who that is. Honestly that's fine. Don't even worry about it. Just forget you saw this thread please don't even start down that rabbit hole. Why didn't I listen to you? This guy has 19 children? Jim Bob Duggar who is the father of Josh Duggar who was convicted of having child sexual abuse material and who had previously admitted to his parents that he was sexually abusing young girls when he was 17, four of which were this own sisters and one of which was two years old at the time. His parents then covered it up and didn't do anything to protect their own daughters from him. Josh Duggar was also revealed to have an Ashley Madison account during the leak. Yet, of course, they're all raging homophobes who blame gays for ruining the sanctity of marriage. They're all trash and they should burn edited to update information. He was sexually abusing young women strike that. He was sexually abusing little girls. Not young women, little girls. You're correct, I changed it. Gwyneth Paltrow, goop is pure pseudoscience and dangerous. In the spirit of being different from some of the more obvious answers, R. Kelly. Thought he was already in obscurity but apparently he just released a new album. Only heard one line from it, what I think is safe to say the most notable one, and it just reaffirms he can piss all the way off. He can piss all the way off. An unfortunate way to put it. This is the remix edition, of the song about pissin'. R. Kelly is mad at me. Ain't no punchline, that dude is mad. Talking about how you gonna make a video about me peeing on somebody? Well, shit. How you gonna make a video about peeing on somebody? Kenneth Copeland. When I was a kid, I used to watch the last few minutes of his show before Pokemon came on. He once did a sermon saying it's sinful to tell your children that you're proud of them because pride is a sin. Even back then, I thought it was ridiculous that he couldn't discern between two definitions of pride. Probably intentional on his part regardless. And he only got more abhorrent in the years afterwards. I also would see the last few minutes of his show before Pokemon as a kid. One morning me and my sister had to get up earlier than usual for some reason. And he was going on and on about money. A coming. To me. Now. Just some wacko prosperity preacher shit, and I still make references to that like 25 years later because it was so absurd and we both thought it was hysterical. Me and a friend have adapted it for when we're out in the woods hoping to find something like mushrooms. A coming. To me. Now. And shit. And remember. Jesus. Is. Lord. Wait, Pokemon and Kenneth Copeland were on the same channel in your country? Hi I? I didn't have cable TV and the only cartoons were on the WB. There was religious programming on air before WB Kids started around 3pm. I remember the 700 Club before Pokemon in my area. It was the best time to get snacks and pee. The Kardashians Joel Austin, Making millions preaching a religion that he obviously doesn't follow. So I'm originally from Houston and I attended Lakewood about 10 years ago because my ex was an active member. We didn't attend on a Sunday as it was very crowded, but Lakewood offers a Wednesday evening service that is like 25% of the crowd, so seating is liberal and plenty of space. 
we only went a handful of times because for me it was more voyeurism whereas my ex was diehard about Jesus. Part of the service is the collection plates where you give money, and I shit you not, a woman sat in front of me opened an envelope and counted out $500 to place in the collection plate. This woman did not appear well off by any means, and her teenage son sat next to her looked so upset uneasy about his mom just handing out a wad of cash to the Austin brand. It disturbed me enough to never return and also to dump the boyfriend. Any religion that convinces people to give up such an amount when they simply cannot afford it is toxic and shouldn't exist. I would watch my parents give around $1,000 per week to their cult-type church. The fun parts were one, they had six kids and two, my parents always claimed we didn't have money for basically anything that we wanted to do. I would watch my dad spend hundreds on guns or gun accessories, but they would split one carton of eggnog between all of us around Christmas, but they somehow always found a shit ton of money to give to the church. Kids wearing clothes with holes in them, but yeah, give it to that grifting pastor instead. Chris Brown. The man beat the absolute snot out of Rihanna and everyone just seems to have forgotten about it like it was okay. And he's been abusive towards his other's partners as well. He's a habitual abuser and people still love him. Roman Polanski for raping a 13-year-old in the 70s. That's not true. He raped several children. In the 70s. That's not true. He raped several children in the 70s and 80s. Prince Andrew. Take this with a grain of salt, but about a month ago, I was bored at work and bouncing around the internet. Stopped on some article on a gossip site where it said that Prince Charles had to take Andrew into a room and basically slowly, painfully spell out for him that he was pretty much a pariah and would never be able to serve in his royal capacities ever again. Couldn't really give a shit about the royals, but the idea that the former troubled scapegoat brother had to take his golden child brother into a room and basically give him a giant dressing down and tell him what a disgusting moron he has made me very, very happy. Edit, I'm the worst with run-on sentences edit too, here's a link to the article. Thanks to Warmuck for finding it. Charles isn't my fave but I hope that now he's king he can be like look, mum protected you but I won't, you better pull your head in. And I hope when William is king he can outright be like STFU. Charles has said for years that he wants to trim the fat of the royal family. Basically anyone who isn't directly related or important enough, doesn't get a handout or title and needs to get a real job. To be fair, the current extended royal family is quite large. There's three princes and one princess that are cousins to the queen which still hold the title of prince because they were born during the reign of their uncle, George VI. Then we have the children of Princess Margaret, which don't have royal titles but are still part of the family. After that Andrew, Edward, Anne and their children, most of which also don't have royal titles. Precisely. Basically, unless they're doing royal duties, whatever that actually entails these days, then he wants them to earn their own money and live in a non-royal property. Mind you, many of them already do this, they just have a bit of nepotism to help them get a head start on their careers. Andrew is the only one that insisted that his girls have the title princess because he wanted them to appear as important as William and Harry. Anne and Edward have kept their kids out of the limelight. Well, Zara doesn't count, the girl trained hard for those medals. Everyone that's a Scientologist tbh. James Corden. That moment you realize they didn't edit all of the assholes out of cats. As a previous fan. Jeffree Star. James Charles too. He is a predator and a creep, it's infuriating that he's not in jail. He admitted to being attracted to young men, teens, and was exposed by one of his victims trying to get the kid to send him nudes. Multiple other kids came out with evidence exposing him too. This is the one. Hess still attending big functions and whatnot. At least Jeffrey and Shane have kind of shunned themselves. James Charles is like a damn cockroach. Not only is he attending big functions but hosting them as well. From what I've seen online he just had the Winter Wonderland event with a lot of people in attendance gushing about it. I imagine it's hard to turn down an invite like that especially as an influencer social media star.